What is up, Giants fans? Good morning, G Nation. It feels like I haven't been on here in a minute. Quite frankly, that's because there's not anything to report. Uh, right now, you know, 24 days away from the draft, we have nothing to report. Uh, it's very, very slow news in terms of Giants football news. Um, I'm not going to just make videos for the hell of it, but... It is finally the month of April, and we are 24 days away from the NFL Draft. I can't be more stoked about it. I am pumped. I'm still deciding on what to do for the draft. Usually the tradition has been I go to this uh, local bar down the uh, road from where I live with a few friends of mine who all happen to be uh, Eagles fans. Um, that's been a tradition since God knows 10 years since I've been able to drink at a bar. Um, didn't Couldn't go last year because of uh, COVID and then the year prior. Um, so I'm still uh, determining what I should do. I feel like I need to make a video and it will be very hard to make a video that I would be uh, fully giving my full attention to because I know my friends will be ragging on me for doing a Facebook or a YouTube video at a bar. Um, so I'm still determining. I'm more so leaning towards just staying home for the draft or maybe I'll do a uh, video at my friend who's a Giants fan's house. Um, but yeah, we are 24 days away from the draft. I can't be more stoked about it. A lot of things are coming into the works. Um, but just want to uh, just start off this video by saying uh, let's go North Carolina. Uh, if in case any of you guys did not know, I am a huge, huge North Carolina Tar Heels basketball fan. Um, I've been a fan of them since the uh, Vince Carter, Ed Cota days. Uh, Vince Carter is my favorite basketball player of all time, and uh, I'm I'm ready to go for tonight's game. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. Kansas is really good, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just happy they uh, gave uh, Coach K a farewell uh, loss in the Final Four. But anyway, I'm not talking about North Carolina anymore. This is the Giants channel, and we will talk about all things Giants. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned before, 24 days to the draft, and we got a lot of work to do. Uh, currently, as it stands, I think the Giants have about $750,000 in cap room. Uh, I think we are at the bottom, bottom last in the league in cap space. Um, that's not good. That's not really good uh, when it's uh, 24 days away from the draft. Um, we need roughly about 15 to $16 million for... Uh, for the drafted players that we draft. We do have nine picks in this draft. Um, that's as it stands now. Uh, we might trade back, who knows. Um, I did hear a little bit of uh, tidbit information from the, the Bills general manager, Brandon Bean, who was uh, partners with uh, Joe Shane when his time in Buffalo. Um, and he said that, you know, him and Joe Shane really talk regularly. They talk on the rag still. They're very close. They communicate very well with each other still. Um, and they work well together and they're like best friends in the business. And, uh, you know, they're not going to try to uh, pull a fast one over one's head. Um, if there's a need that the Bills have and then there's a need that the Giants have, they'll make a deal, he said. And uh, that's great to hear. It's great when you have a GM that is well liked around the league, well respected that other GMs were willing to make a fair deal. Um, I know now most teams probably didn't like or respect Dave Gettleman. They thought he was an ass. Um, so they really didn't try to give him the benefit of the doubt or make any fair trades with him. Um, but I'm liking that uh, report out of Buffalo that uh, Joe Shane is uh, has some friends uh, out, outside the conference. That's great. But yeah, I'm really worried about this cap room. I don't know how we're gonna get it. Well, I know how we can get it by trading Saquon Barkley, the team's mascot, by trading James Bradbury or cutting him. Um, then I learned that there's a possibility of that the Giants out of all this news could possibly restructure or give an extension to James Bradbury if that will lower the cap room and dead cap money for this year and next, which I'm all for. I really think James Bradbury is still a very solid corner. Um, and uh, without him, uh, unless we draft some uh, Sauce Gardner, we would really be uh, digging ourselves a big hole without uh, Bradbury on the other side of Dory Jackson. Um, but yeah, just really just want to hop on here and say that we have roughly $750,000 in cap space to work with from now until draft time. 
the number that we have to get to is at least 15 million, maybe even 16, depending on how many uh, picks we uh, go forward with uh, the first couple days of the draft. Um, I'm worried. I'm worried that uh, we're going to have to make some big, tough decisions. Um, like Joe Shane said in previous uh, interviews, he's not really uh, about restructuring big deal contracts. Um, Sterling Shepard really wasn't making, making much money, so a restructure on his deal made, uh, made complete sense. Uh, but like guys like Leonard Williams, Kenny Galladay, that's just, that's just going to be really hard and difficult to do. Uh, but we got a lot of work to do. Joe Shane needs to make some moves, and he needs to make them fast because this draft's going to appear out of thin air in no time, and uh, we need to get the ball rolling. This is a very, very important draft for the New York Giants. We have to hit every single pick in the first three rounds at least, at least. We have not had very good drafts under the Dave Gettleman era, and I strongly believe this year and this new this new uh, front office is going to turn the tide and that we will be back to Giants winning football in the next year or so. Anyway, that's all I really want to say about that. Enjoy your Monday. Let's go North Carolina. And any other news that breaks, I will be there to update it, as you know. Anyway, guys, stay healthy. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. And, as always, let's go, G-Men.